area do not fall in most, I would say, 99.9% .9 of the people, even to like old age. That is the basis of this. But if you have, unfortunately, if someone gets some illness in which he loses hair, say, from the body also in this area also, that happens like in chemotherapy or other diseases, then these hair can be lost. Right? But that is a real thing. In, in nature, you are not going to lose once they have started growing. Suppose I go for this transplantation, then I have to, you know, merge new uh, this therapy in my uh, sustaining area. Existing area. Existing area. Then they will fall like uh, yours will stay. Your existing hair may fall. Because we are not, this by hair transplant, we are not treating your existing hair falls. There are medicines for that, some people try that. But hair transplant per se, if we transplant something here, those hair will go, but you may lose your own hair. That fits you to another thing. Whenever a person goes for a hair transplant, he should not think of it as a one-time procedure. Because you may lose more hair with time, and you may need some fetching of talking it off. Right? So if a person says, no, I am going for hair transplant only once in my life, and I can't go for it more, again, then we advise him not to go for a transplant. Within how many years uh, need it uh, transplant again? That is not possible to predict. There is no test by which we can predict. Average? There is no average also. Have you, have you seen that the transplant? Yes, of course. Uh, one of them is uh, sitting just next to you. He has been losing hair a bit more and has gone for like four or five times at least. And one more uh, question. Uh, okay. So since uh, you have taken a uh, lot of hair from uh, Yes. So what about the left over? Since you have already taken a lot of hair from, uh, from that place. From the uh, lower areas? By which method? Say a few years you are talking about. By the treatment method or? No, no, no. Yes. That is a very good question. In fact, that is a strategy which is followed in some patients. That of your loss. And you have a dense hair in this area. If you shave it or plus that it, it stands out because this is too dense. So when we extract it from here and transplant them here, you can think of it as deep pixelizing this area, deep pixelizing this, so that there is no contrast between this and this. All both have almost the same density at uh, the two bus right? So that is done. But what you are asking is, supposing we keep on taking out here from this place, and this area gets repeated because we have used too much in this place, then what we do? We have done, in some patients, we have had those who have repeated donors, and then we have placed graphs from the real area or this area to make it more fuller. And then we have to replenish it. Yes, that is an option. We can replenish it. Earlier it didn't used to be. After the fuse technique and after the body and real hair transplant, it's not possible. Sir, what is the percentage of re transplant patients coming to you? Often I can't say percentage because I never compile that statistic. But sir, from patient point of view, it is uh, just must have to know that how long will they get. See, this one thing I say, always tell patients, don't go by percentages. If I tell you that 50 percent chance is there that you will need it, but you fall into the other 50 percent, then it's percentages are useless. Like that's why we say, assume the worst case scenario. Assume that you may, will need more hair transplants. And then plan according to it. If you do not need more hair transplants, that's a bonus. Good thing. But if you do need, at least you are prepared for it. But, uh, it is not like this, that uh, also transplant hair will fall. The percentage will keep on falling by the time. The transplanted hair no. transplant will not fall once it starts going. That will not fall. I am talking about your own day existing here. That may fall. And that person, supposing I go for a transplant in this area and I get there to this point. Not tomorrow, I lose more hair. I have receding in this. So I have a gap between this transplant in here and your own hair. So we may need to fill that. Okay. That is what I mean by repeat hair transplants. Hmm? The transplanted hair will uh, last long. Mm -hmm. Transplanted hair normally lasts for the whole lifetime. But now you have given the gentleman example, he has transplanted five yeah, times. Yeah, yes. 
because it came to us early in the head was process. Okay, okay. Now supposing you are a normal 3, you are a normal 4, you have lost only this much, you come on with you. Then you may need to go for like there are two types of patients. One who says that okay, as and when we lose more hair, we'll go for more transplants. The other will say, no, we'll wait. We'll see how much we are going to lose. When we have lost all that we are going to lose, then we'll go for transplant. So again, that is also entirely the patient's choice. But this is 100% sure that transplanted hair will not fall. Yes, the transplanted hair will not fall except in a situation or a illness in which all your body hair falls. Okay. Right. Uh, suppose I am a thyroid patient and yes. I am taking androxyl. Yes. My patient level is maintained for years. Yeah. And even then I am losing hair. Maybe it can be due to that or not. See, loss due to hormone problems or due to thyroid problems specifically will not have a pattern hair loss. That's why we call this pattern hair loss. Remember I mentioned it. Why is it In thyroid, this loss is a pattern hair loss from the thyroid system. In thyroid, you will have a diffuse hair loss all over, even in the donor area. So that is how it distinguishes. Of course, but remember, with medicines, it is not that they will help each and every person. In fact, we do advise patients to try medicines. See if they help you. If they help you, then good. The commonly used medicines are finasteride which has to be taken by you, young by the That's right. Yeah. That is the It's how long use this medicine to stop this See, for some people, they don't this. But uh, for them also, the benefit will remain as long as you keep on taking the medicines. If you stop the medicines, then you lose the hair. Yes, you ask me something? No. Any other questions? No. Okay. Now we talk about some specific results. To give you an idea, this is a case of FUHD, strip method. He has had 3,000 grafts extracted in one procedure in a single day. These grafts were placed, and this result is after 10 months. Similar to this. Now this is a person who is normal 6. He has lost, let us say, whatever he was destined to 